This is a a very old mine apparently. Dates back to the late 1800s. Could have been worked possibly in the 1870s, according to uh, the other mines in the area. Okay, so the site has some pretty interesting things to see at the top. Um, here looks like we have a uh, anvil stump, and this would have been the uh, blacksmith's forge. Okay, you can even see pieces of slag inside of it. And you can see there's a whole bunch of foundations over here. There's some kind of cistern or something. It's also possible this was like a a smelter for the uh, the lead silver ore. And scattered all over this waste rock pile is a bunch of calcite. Like that's a bunch of calcite right there, and you can find a bunch of crystals that are perfectly shaped. It's uh, like a cuboidal shape. If that's even a word, I don't know. But it's sort of like a, a cube, but the angles are a bit off. Yeah, that's a perfect crystal of calcite right there. But here's another foundation, and right next to the head frame, there's some stopes going down. That's crazy. Yeah, and then here's a closer look at the shaft. You can see they were running a bucket up this. Let me see if I can get into more light. But uh, this apparently goes down 400 feet. And I'm not really sure how many um, horizontal workings are down here, but based off of the waste rock pile, I imagine it's pretty extensive. And right up here you can see the, the bucket catch. So there were two rods in the sides of the bucket, and as it slid up here, those rods were catching here. And that would allow them to flip the bucket over and dump it into whatever is waiting here. Fortunately, the, uh, the sheave wheel was taken, but still, this is a really neat structure. A lot of head frames are disappearing, so it's always nice to see a standing one. Okay, so we're back at this mine. Um, the last time we were here, I uh, filmed the surface workings and we did go inside the mine, but we weren't able to complete it. So we're back here today, and I'm just gonna start at the uh, the beginning of the underground workings and um, give you a tour of what we saw last time, and then hopefully we see uh, the bottom levels of this mine. So this adit right here should connect with the incline shaft we see up there. And let's go head on in. Get lights ready. Yeah, you can see the, the incline up ahead. It's a little dead end right here. She goes vertical. Yeah, just for a second. And then it yeah, and then it levels levels back out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta be fucking. There goes your GoPro. Yeah, so the drift keeps going that way, but it's collapsed, and we think we can get over it. And here's a look up the incline shaft. It's pretty neat, you can see the head frame. Yeah, look at all that timber work. All right, here's another view up the shaft, and here's a view down it. You can see it gets steep, but, um. Now it's only steep for about, I don't know, 30 feet, and then it sort of levels out again. But behind me, the uh, drift continues past a pretty 
big collapse. I mean, just look at these boulders that scaled off the back there. Yeah. Huh. So it looks like there's some stopes going down quite a long ways. And there's a little drift running off past it. You gotta be careful not to slip here. Oh wow. Look at that ladder in there. See that? That's a really big stope. Okay, I don't feel... Okay, I'm gonna shut my camera off because this looks pretty tough to cross over. Like any wrong move and I'm going all the way down there, which is about a 50 feet drop or more. All right, so Xavier is trying to cross over to that drift, but we're thinking we're, we don't want to do it because it's really sketchy. But we just realized that we were actually in a natural cave. Do you see those formations right there? This whole area, this light, lighter area, is a natural cave the miners broke into. Yeah, that is really awesome. Look at that. Yeah, dude, that's... I mean, I got footholds and stuff, and it's steep, but I think I'm getting across. I don't know, dude. That last section, that's that's going to be really tough. Well, and how are you going to get that? Does it look that? like it really keeps going after that, or...? I see some... Shining my light. It looks like there's another winds with like a ladder or something. Looks like I see the top of a ladder. Well now I gotta know. Well the thing is down on the the first level down there's a bunch of stopes that go up. So it's so instead you want to try climbing up those stopes instead of crossing this because Well once I make like a path across, I don't think it's gonna be so bad. It's just getting that path. And I'm almost there. It's just like one more good I don't know, dude, that's that last section. That's like go the fucking pants, you asshole! Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't I would turn back, dude. <laughs> Does it look that bad? Yeah. Really? Alright, so I'm about to climb down the main incline. Um, but before I did, Xavier found a little goodie. It's a cut piece of dynamite. And it says January 20th, 1913. That is really yeah. cool. 40% strength. Nice. And this looks like Hercules powder. Yeah, there's a, to me. there's a cross section of the end there. And you can see there's the seal end. So the other end, maybe they cut it in half for half strength and then they shove the blasting cap in or they maybe they never even got the cap in it. All right, so I'm heading down and right by my foot there's a little roller. Still rolls. And you don't want to step on it as a run because your foot would just slip off. Yeah, I'm trying to film as I go down. Absolute mad lad. Yeah, you see, here's another roller, and stepping on that, that's not a good foothold because it's just going to pull right off. Jesus. Yeah, so it gets really steep because then you can see it leveling off right there the bottom. Alright, so there's actually a little level here, only about 20 feet down the shaft. Uh, I don't think it goes very far from what I remember. But uh, let me get on solid ground. It looks like they're just using it as a trash receptacle. Oh yeah. That's the face of it right over there. And yeah, just a bunch of uh, scraps of stuff. This looks like a handle. Yeah. All right, so let's get back on the ladder and keep heading down. All right, so there's Xavier working his way down. And I just reached the end of the steep part 
it uh, levels out and then it gets a bit steep again. And then where my other buddy is, is the, the first drift level. And right up above my head is another roller. This one's on the, uh, the back. Now this is a really neat incline shaft and this mine was started in the 1890s. And worked into the 20th century as far as I know. I'm just kind of walking down this part backwards. A piece of a dynamite box. Now you can see another roller right up ahead. Okay, so we're on the 200 foot level right now. This is the first level below the one we entered. Um, the one we entered is the 50 foot level according to the, the mining reports that I have. And there should be another uh, three levels down here. The lowest being 400 feet deep. And then on the 400 foot level, there's a uh, 240 foot winds. And I'm not sure if there are any workings off that winds, but we're gonna try to find out today. But for now, let's go explore the 200 level. Uh, you can see someone placed a little crystal of calcite in this little nook here, and it's a perfect shape. Yeah, that's really nice. And we have a whole bunch of artifacts here. Um, yeah, we have some newspaper fragments. This one's from 1911, and it's talking about some silver ores in Mexico. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, we have a Union Carbide can. It looks like a medium-sized one. And we have another newspaper fragment. And this one is from 1916, by the looks of it. Yeah. That's awesome. Here we have a little ladder here. And it looks like we have some slopes running down as well as up. Yeah, these don't go down too far. It looks like they might be backfilled. And another ray is going up. Beautiful crystals everywhere. Now, the geology in this mine is fantastic. And when we get down a uh, couple levels, the geology gets really amazing. Some modern newspaper in here. And yeah, this is the stope that I think goes up to where we were. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some more uh, newspaper fragments. All the tops are missing, so I don't know the years on them. Hey, did you see that little uh, tobacco pouch back there? Actually, I didn't. Oh, you, you gotta check that okay. out. It's got a, a picture of Benjamin Franklin on the, the freshness seal, and then it's got a picture of a cow on the string for tightening huh. it for like the agricultural seal. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, here we have a winds. That's a pretty cool collar. And yeah, I'd say that goes down at least 50 feet. Yeah, look at this. Look at this mineralization in here. That is gorgeous. And look at all that calcite. That is awesome.
Yeah, so that Just ends right there. Here. Yeah, the last time, but I, we didn't climb up there because we were sort of rushing it. Yeah. yeah, so I'm pretty sure this stope uh, runs up to that natural cave we were checking out. There's a passage over here. Wow. Oh, and it keeps going. Let me see if I can get through it. Okay, I just climbed up this stope a ways. And you can see we have this ladder up here at a pretty weird angle. And so you're just checking out this little drift. Doesn't go anywhere? No, nah, it gets narrower and narrower. It's all backfill. Okay. You want to try climbing up this? Oh shit, that's clogged. It's a big rock though. No, nah, dude, that's completely clogged. <clears throat> so yeah, no. No go there. And looking up where that ladder was, I think it's clogged up there as well. Oh, this is treacherous. Yeah, that's clogged beyond the ladder, so I'm pretty sure this did go up to uh, where we were before, but not anymore. But still, just look at the, the colors in here. Okay, so you may have heard Xavier um, talk about this little tobacco pouch he found. Well, here it is. Yeah, this thing is really neat. Looks like a... Is that Ben Franklin, you said? I think so. I, I don't so. know. It's hard to tell. It might be yeah, a Yeah, little, little tag here. Yeah, that's awesome. I've never seen one of these. Yeah, it usually comes in a tin. Well, maybe this was inside the tin, like... Oh, so the tin seals it, and then this is just to keep it from falling out, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. It's incredible how clean the seal is and everything. But it's definitely old. Yeah, that's a really neat find. Okay, so right here we have a tuxedo tobacco can. This is new to me. I've never seen one of these before. And also a wrapper for... What does this say? White countered Gouda. Maybe it's Italian fuse. So it's a Gouda fuse. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, Coast Manufacturing and Supply Company. All right, so we're on the 250 foot level and we're actually hardly below the level we're just on. And this one's pretty neat because it has rail in it. And splits off that way. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep following the rails. And look at how uh, light this rock is. And then there's these pockets of mineralization throughout. That's a face right there. And okay, it looks like we have a little winds here. I bet that um, goes down to the next level, but uh, it doesn't go up too high. All right, so not really much down this drift. But there is the one with the ore chute. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Hey. This doesn't say anything, huh? No. The lid, lid comes on and off real nice. Huh. So. Some more calcite. That's everywhere. And yeah, this one, this doesn't go too far, huh? Uh, there's a uh, winds going down and a whole bunch of calcite. Yeah, I remember this level was pretty tiny. But the one below, which was the last one we explored on my previous trip, um, that one is really interesting. Yeah, so it looks like we have a backfilled winds here. And yeah, a whole bunch of calcite. 
Okay, so here off to the side, we found a uh, pipe stem. And this is a really neat find. And it'd be amazing to find a complete one, but still, that's pretty neat. And then this right here is a stalactite or stalagmite. Um, that must have came from right over here because you can see there's a bit of flowstone. So likely there's a little void right in this area that they, they broke into. Probably wasn't a very big cave. I'm sure there's a bunch of you know small cavities all throughout this mountain. Alright, let's go work our way down to the 300 level. And from what I heard, there's a dead tarantula over oh, here. I think, see yeah, I see him right here. Yep. Another interesting thing, uh -huh. these rollers, the end of them, you'll notice it's a single like uh, piece of pipe that's, you know, funnel shape. Yeah. I think it's off of something else. I think they repurposed it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the bottom of, you know, like bar stools from a saloon or something. I don't know. But it's weird that they only have that one end, and then... Well, you can, yeah, this is where the cable is running on this side. You can see the groove, so... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so there's the dead tarantula. Okay, we are now on the 300 foot level. And this was the last level that um, I explored the last time I was here. And this one was pretty neat. So here we have a bag of Portland cement and a piece of a drill rod right here. And probably the best part about this level is the geology. And this right here is calcite, but if you notice, it's all through here. They d dug a drift through pretty much solid calcite. And the rails actually go off you know, this back foot area, but I believe this drift uh, will loop around and we'll be able to get over there. Yeah, they dug this drift through solid calcite. And, I don't know, I've just never seen anything like this. It's really interesting. Got some gobbing here. Yeah, this is really impressive. It's the best calcite I've ever seen. The crystal grains are huge. It's really uh, pure stuff by the looks of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember this big stope here. And look, uh, Hercules powder. Definitely looks like an old one. And we also have a little winds going down here. Yeah, the geology in here is, is really some of the best I've seen. Just look at this pillar they left here and how they left a, a portion of the vein. And just look at that, it's like a rainbow. That's awesome. Check out the colors on these. Yeah, I know, it's, it's fantastic. The contrast is just incredible. Yeah, that really dark rock, that almost looks like it's volcanic, you know? Yeah, it, it sounds like glass, you know, it's very, uh, very yeah. hard, but brittle. And there's some copper stuff. Yeah, I don't know what this stuff is. Really, this stuff's really soft. So, very neat. Well, let me, uh, squeeze on by ya. Yeah, yeah it's some really neat, uh, Mineralization around the corner there. Oh wow. I really hope the uh, camera's doing it justice. I'm sure it's not, but. Yeah, just look at that. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but this was a lead, zinc, and silver mine. Yeah, just look at the crystal grains in this calcite. That is fantastic. 
Yeah, so lead, zinc, and silver. Um, a little bit of gold, most likely. And I believe it was pretty rich. Started in the 1890s. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Yeah, so there's this like almost black rock and it looks like it's covered in like ice or something. There's really tiny, looks like, they look like perfectly clear quartz crystals on there. This is just awesome. Wow. Yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely know the camera is not doing it justice, but... Yeah, this is some of the best geology I've ever seen. And it's, if I remember correctly, if you crawl through here, this loops around and then uh, meets up right by the incline where that rail was going. We have some burlap bags or canvas bags. Okay, just look at this. Look at the texture on there. That is really weird. That's cool. Oh God. Just look at that vein. A little stope running off that way. Yeah, and this bag, it has writing on it, but it's way too torn up. I get a lot of comments saying, why don't you show more of the geology and talk about more of the geology? Well, I hope uh, this video satisfies that. Yeah, so this right here, if you crawl through it. Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, this goes right by the shaft where those rails were going. So we pretty much just completed the level and if I don't see anything else interesting, then um, I'm gonna go head down the shaft and everything below where we're at now is gonna be completely new to me. And I really hope there's some interesting stuff, so. Okay, so I found this rock here and it looks metallic. Like, I don't know if this is actual lead or zinc because it looks and feels metallic. Like it's cold, like when you touch metal because it's so, you know, conductive of heat. I don't know. It really looks like it might be metallic. Okay guys, we made it down to the 400 level and it is really awesome down here. So this is the bottom of the main shaft, but I think I mentioned earlier that there was a 200 foot winds or 240 foot winds off, off this level. And here it is, right here. And my uh, buddy's already heading down there, seeing where it goes. And it's kind of interesting, you can see there's pieces right here for the, uh, the bucket slide. And there must have been some kind of mechanism. So either they could lower the bucket all the way down here to the bottom of this, or they could transition it to this um, winds and slide the bucket down this way. Yeah, because there's some stuff here in the uh, back. That was probably for that. And I think the, uh, the geology down here is even better than the one that was up above. And there, there's some artifacts here too, including the shovel, some raisins, that's not an artifact. Um, this roller. Find anything else cool? 
uh, sort of the rock samples get better and better. I mean, better and better. Look, look at how clean they start to get. Nice, wow. nice chunks and whatnot. Yeah, that's a great piece of calcite. I think that roller says something. Really? Is it? Oh yeah. Young. Youngstown. Youngstown. Looks like it. Huh. That's really cool. Well, also, this looks like a trap door loop. Oh yeah, and the blossom cap. Is oh, this blossom no, no, cap? Uh, Micah oh. Grease. Oh, okay. Looked like a California blossom cap thing. Not oh, too soon. Yeah. Micah Grease. This one, wow. Old, uh... I mean, this is within our lifetime, but it's becoming an antique. Show film. Yep. Yeah, this is, uh... That's really cool. Look at that calcite. Like just just the size oh, yeah. of the this individual crystals. Oh, you should see the room around. It's amazing. The corner. It just keeps getting better and better. This mine's phenomenal. Wow. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of pockets of very fine uh, uh, iron sulfide. Okay. Or, or pyrite. Yeah. It'd be cool to climb up in some of these, you know, little pockets. But there might be some artifacts left up in there. Yeah, so there's a drift running off that way. And I love the rail in this drift. Oh, look. Yeah, here's the pyrite, or... I don't know if it's iron pyrite or if it's just some... It's definitely some kind of sulfide mineral. Might be uh, some zinc mineral. Yeah, that is awesome. Wow. And look at how around the ends of it, or the edges of the pockets, it's like decomposing. That is really strange. Yeah, this is definitely the mine. You want to go to if you're interested in geology because this is just incredible and it's all through here Looks like there's a winds over here. Let's have a look at that. Well, it looks like it's backfilled. And uh, the main drift keeps going. Looks like the rail's in though. Wow. I hope, uh, all the, uh, the shots of the geology in here aren't boring you. It's definitely not boring me. I guess it depends on how it looks on the camera. Something running off that way. And... There's a... Oh, I think that's a little little winds that we saw in the... Actually, that was two levels above, so maybe not. And, uh... Yeah, there's like a wind going down here. Huh. Just beautiful calcite crystals. Yeah, I'm guessing because... There's all these stopes going down, but at the bottom of the winds, the 240 foot winds, there's a major hall level. That'd be my guess. I don't want to go down here too far.
Okay. More beautiful calcite. Yeah, and this, that gets really steep, so this is gonna be it for me. But I have a feeling that we're gonna see the bottom of this if we keep climbing down those ladders. There is something coming up that way. It looks like it just faces out though. Okay, here's the first junction I came to. So let's go ahead down this left hand drift. Got a hole going down there. Huh. Look at that vein. And just faces out. Now this level was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so I'm back at the shaft station and I'm now gonna head down this winds. Uh, my buddy's coming up and he said there's some really cool stuff down there. But I'm gonna have to make it um, pretty quick because uh, we're running out of daylight and time and we want to get back to camp. So I'm probably not going to film on the way down the ladder and I'll just pick up at the, the first level we find. Yeah. Okay, so I just made it down the winds and from what I hear, this level is even better than the one up above. I mean, where to start off? Right there we have some miners graffiti from 1918. That's really awesome and the floor here is just littered with drill rods. This one's really skinny and then uh, the ones over here I think they're really old. Yeah, because I don't know if I don't think these ones have holes for water. So these ones are are the uh, the widowmaker kind. And right here we have a a hand steel for hand drilling. And yeah, that is awesome. Some uh, efflorescence on the walls. And yeah, I've got to make this kind of quick because we're running out of time. So, again, just beautiful mineral mineralization through here, but similar to the stuff you saw earlier. And it looks like we have a track switch here. That works. That's cool. And a broom. That keeps going off for a long ways. What's that you're prying at? Well, I'm trying to get this big rock to come out so that I can get, I don't know if you can see these little samples. See these guys? Are they? I don't know if they're coming out, right? Oh, I, I don't see, know I what see it that. is. But I'd like to try and get yeah, it out. Yeah, it's definitely some kind but of sulfide, stuff, I think. This stuff's really hard. So I was going to try and get a chunk out. Yeah, this, this looks like limestone. Yeah. Really hard limestone. Yeah. Wow, so the drift running off that way. Check out this, uh... Yeah. Accumulator tank. You know, this was exactly like the one that's in Lars's mine, except it's huh. not all rotted out. Remember how I had that little oh, handle yeah, yeah, on and everything? That. Well, there's a manufacturer's plate here. Oh, oh God. That just made it worse. Yeah. Well, it well, says something, but I can't really get it. You can tell there's letters on it. Yeah, it's. Anyways. It's too dirty. What's uh, this way? Another switch. And wow, that's a oh, and it works. Cool valve, gate valve. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this thing is extensive. What the heck? Yeah, this is this is um more modern workings, I think. Back full drift. Check out what's down on the right. Yeah, 
looks like there's a winds here. Wow, this thing keeps going down. Well, it looks like I can see the bottom. I don't know, unless it turns vertical down there. It's hard to say. We got two ladders. And I'm guessing they had a little, probably a little air operated, or a little air hoist. And that faces out. Yep, I don't see any artifacts back there. Well, let's go head back to that one junction. All right, here's this receiver tank, and let's go check out this drift. What do we got over here? Check out that beautiful blasting cap tin. Don't worry, there's no caps in it. But the writing's pretty clear on it. California blasting caps. Yeah. That's cool. So, you notice a whole bunch of blocks? Yeah, with the imprint for the, the columns drills. So yeah, and here's muffing plate. And right around the corner here. What is this crate here? That's cool. Check this guy out. Whoa. Yeah. It's what a, is that? It's a jack leg. But it's got this special base. Let's see if I can lift it. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. So. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> hey, I need to give you a hand if you want to do that. No, uh, that's not too bad as long as you teeter it up. Okay. So, so they'd have a block on the top. Yeah. So that that way they can raise it up. It's like an extension for it, huh? Well, no, no. This is like a leveling base. It, it okay. winds out the base. Oh boy. Smooth work there. Just like that. I've never seen something like that. I've never seen anything like this either. Look at that bait. That is awesome. Oh, I think it's well. Yeah, so for oh, those trusted. For those that don't know, this col or there would be a drill mounted on this column here. Usually they have a uh, arm attachment and then they mount the drill onto that. And then they wedge it between the floor and the back. And these couplings and here, these clamps, yeah. they for the arm, they prevent it from sliding down. So they yeah. put these clamps on. And that means that they could swing the the two-man drill, and they call them two-man drills because it, it, they're. I have one that I acquired, and yeah. it, it's about 190 pounds of of cast iron. There, you need two men. Windless set up here. Yep. More uh, hand steels. This is phenomenal. Can't even say the words. That is awesome. Oh wow, this mine just keeps on giving. What the heck? And it goes away. <laughs> yeah, dude. And it also goes up a, a fair little bit too. Yeah. This is crazy. Oh, so this is a skid plate, huh, for the switch? That's half of the skid Yeah, plate. half of it. So we're four-way intersection. Mm -hmm. Check out how worn down it is. They, they use the hell out of that. And look in here. I thought it was a blasting cap, but it's an old pencil. Huh. And it's got, uh, looks like THP in it, or IHP for the initials. And That's a couple awesome. of bite marks. The miners were using this. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, THP. Here's a trap door. This is crazy. I know, right? Who knew all this stuff was down here? Because yeah, oh, the mining the force that. did not mention this at all. This was not an unused ball. ball. It, just, it just said it was a winds. Did it mention any workings? An unused ball <laughs> yeah. of twine. That's pretty, uh... Just... It did get me excited. I was hoping to see a drill, but... Oh, here's another half. There, there's another piece, and there's there's another... So I guess I got one and a half. 
that another carbon rod? What is that? Oh, it's just a, I don't know if that's a core sample or just a chunk of iron. I don't know. It's kind of heavy. See? Yeah, that feels like metal, like rusted metal. So, I think this yeah. is where they had the plate. You can see the uh, all the, the wood underneath rotted. Oh, yeah, there's there's one plate that's still down. Huh. So okay. there's the plate. There's the, let's see if I can lift it. They probably got moisture stuck underneath it, and that brought it out the. Uh, yeah. Right out the base. Jeez, this goes every direction. What the heck? Does this loop back around? Yeah, this, this guy does loop back. Okay. Check out the uh, the scaling bar there. Yeah, and. Oh yeah. This. The grease lid, yeah. Oh yeah, mica grease. Yeah, probably the lid to the one we saw. Or it's the same cut type of can. Condition though. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, scaling bar here. Wow. And there's a few little uh, little bippies here and there along this passage. Lots of uh, efflorescence there. There was something here. I don't know what, but it's gone now. Look, here's um some sort of machinery. Here's a bucket catch. And for there's wings. hinges. There's hinges on that board for a trap door. Yeah. So. But is there no winches back over here? No, they just. Okay. It's, uh, Back yeah. Well, all that's all that stuff that looks like it's for a winds probably came from the one that you threw the rock down. Cause that one looked like everything was removed from it. All the setup. This is crazy. There's so much things down here. So many things down here. A, uh, a lid to a blasting cap tin. Pretty legible. Yeah, nice. And then this was on top of it. It looks like they stole somebody's curtains. See, it's got roses in them. You can still see the pattern. Uh -huh. So, yeah, use whatever as a rag. Yeah, this is crazy, man. Hey, well, this, this was this the uh, I'm mounting not sure. for the. I'm not sure I what that is. At first, I thought this was the mounting for the. A sheave wheel for like a head frame or something. I was thinking they might have had a like a, a slusher in here for pulling, but I, that's I also know. very possible. They had some sort of machine in here, maybe a vent for airflow. Remember, remember the fifth of November. We have a file here, as well as some graffiti from 1939. Yep, November fifth. All right, so I suppose we'll head this way. Yep. Okay, so here's this junction, and we just noticed that right here on the walls, there's some uh, candle wax and uh, some soot from the candle. That's pretty neat. And uh, let's go down this drift. Apparently, the sloops back around. Yeah, this, this level was really unexpected. Nineteen sixty three, thirty six, seventy four. Caltech must have been a geologist or something. I came in here. Got some big crate here of some sort. This was probably for explosives. Yeah, I think explosive storage. There's just a bunch of wax papers from the, uh, the dynamite. Still got sawdust in it. Does this go anywhere? Did you check uh, this? That, that one loops back around. Okay. Alrighty. Wow. And we're back. That was an incredible level. 
All right, so Xavier is heading up and there's a little room over here that the wires run into. And apparently there's some interesting things over here. Yeah. Yeah, there must have been an electrical panel on that board there. And it looks like there's some pieces of batteries. Huh. Yeah, look at the uh, the carbon rod in there. So Xavier was theorizing that they sent electricity down here to charge the batteries and then they use the batteries for running the lights. I don't know, I'm not really sure. But uh that's his guess. And his guess is probably better than mine because he's an electrician. Okay. So uh yeah this was a fantastic level. Uh those winds did look really interesting, those two winds that we saw, but I don't know, I have a feeling that they're, they don't lead anywhere extensive, um, considering that there is, they're using on windlasses. But uh, I don't know, it's hard to say because I was not expecting this level. So it's possible we might be back here sometime in the near future to descend those winds, and I'll, I'll add that onto the end of the this video or possibly it will be its own video i'm not so sure yet but for now let's make the long climb out of here we are well 640 feet deep or into the mine along the the incline of the vein so yeah it's going to be quite a workout to get out of here